Hi, and welcome to Cotton Cuts Village Green Clue 4. Okay, here is Cotton Cuts Clue 4. I did pre-open this just so that it wasn't quite as loud of a snap or rip or whatever from the package. That looks like a lot of pieces, looks like a lot of triangles. I feel like maybe, oh, this one's going to be, I feel like this one's going to be pretty easy. Um, so this is clue four. We're going to need, you're going to have, if you have the large size like I do, you're going to have 16 of your fabric A in a small triangle. You're going to have 16 in... Fabric B in a small triangle, you're going to have 16 fabric C in a small triangle, and then you're going to have a 8 large size A, 8 large size B, and 8 large size F. And it looks like it's all going to be flying geese. So this actually is probably going to be very simple I thought oh no this is gonna be a long video but it's probably not going to be a long video okay so step one you're going to take your large size fabric B and your small size fabric C you're going to sew down each side press towards C okay so we're going, I will go through each step individually with you. Um, so I will meet you back here for the pressing of this and the setup of step two. I'm just going to prearrange the fabric. All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, here is the last of our step one, flying geese, pressing towards the little triangles, towards the outsides. Okay, you should, if you're doing the large, you should have eight of these. And we're gonna set these aside because we're going to use them. All right, step two. You're going to take all of your large triangle A's, all of your large triangle B's. You're going to sew them to the sides and press up. I'll meet you back here for ironing. All right, here is the last block for step two. Apologies if you can hear my neighbor's little yappy dog. Remember pressing towards your B, fab B fabric or to the outside of your block. Okay, so now we have step two. We're going to line that up right underneath step one's block. And we're going to get ready for step three. Okay, here we are, step three. You're gonna need every single one of your F big triangles, and you're gonna need all of your fabric A small triangles, and we're gonna rinse and repeat. Sew down the sides, press to the outside. Um, I should note that it does not say in the instructions whether you sew on the left side or the right side, it doesn't matter. I sew on the right side first, but that's me. You can sew on the left side first. It doesn't matter. Whatever is easiest for you. I'll meet you back here in a second. All right, here is the last block for step three. Again, pressing outwards. All righty. 
Okay, so there we go. There's our blocks for step three, blocks for step two, blocks for step one. And I bet you can only guess how these are going to go together. This seam and then this seam. So they're basically going to, they're just making arrows, right? Um, and you're pressing towards the arrow, right? So press here, or stitch here, press up, stitch here, press up. I'm going to do all of these, and then I'll come back for the last pressing, and then that'll be clue four. We'll be done. Okay, here we go. Last block. We're just going to set our seams, and then we're going to press. I was going to tell you that this, <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to tell you that this video in its entirety, because when I record these, I just hit record and I don't stop. I edit out all of the sewing in between. I thought I was going to be able to tell you that this video didn't take quite as long, but it was longer than the last video, but only because I was fidgeting with my camera at one point. So, all right. Here is clue four. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around for the video and um, going through clue four with me. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.